In Sanskrit, the parrot is also known as Shuka. When a ripened fruit is cut by the red beaks of such birds, its sweet flavor is enhanced. The Vedic fruit, which is mature and ripe in knowledge, is spoken through the lips of Shukadeva Goswami, who is compared to the parrot, not for his ability to recite Srimad Bhagavatam exactly as he heard from his learned father, but for his ability to present the work in a manner that will appeal to all classes of men. The subject matter is also presented through the lips of Shukadeva Goswami, that any sincere listener that hears submissively can at once relish transcendental taste which are distinct from the perverted taste of the material world. The ripened fruit is not dropped all of a sudden from the highest planet of Krishna Loka. Rather, it has come down carefully through the chain of disciplic succession without change or disturbance. Foolish people who are not in the transcendental disciplic succession commit great blunders by trying to understand the highest transcendental rasa known as rasa dance without following the footsteps of Shukadeva Goswami who presents this fruit very carefully by the stages of transcendental realization. One should be intelligent enough to know the position of Srimad Bhagavatam by considering the personalities like Shukadeva Goswami who deals with the subject matter so carefully. The process of disciplic succession of the Bhagavata school suggest that in the future also Srimata Bhagavatam has to be understood from a person who is factually a representative of Shukadeva Goswami. A professional man who makes a business out of reciting the Bhagavatam illegally is certainly not a representative of Shukadeva Goswami. Such a man's business is only to earn his livelihood. Therefore, one should refrain from hearing the lectures of such professional men. Such men usually go to the most confidential part of the literature without undergoing the gradual process of understanding the grave subject. They usually plunge into the subject matter of Rasa dance, which is misunderstood by the foolish class of men. Some of them take this to be immoral, while others try to cover it up by their own stupid interpretations. They have no desire to follow in the footsteps of Srila Shukadeva Goswami. One should conclude therefore that the serious students of Rasa should receive the message of Bhagavatam in the chain of disciplic succession from Shukadeva Goswami who describes the Bhagavatam from its very beginning and not whimsically to satisfy the mundaner who has very little knowledge in the transcendental science. Srimad Bhagavatam is so carefully presented that a sincere and a serious person can at once enjoy the ripened fruit of Vedic knowledge simply by drinking the nectarian juice through the mouth of Shukadeva Goswami or his bona fide representative. Hare Krishna.